It's 625 right now. Welcome back. One of the nonprofit organizations joining us outside in the rain this morning of the Graham Studios is the Grand Rapids Symphony. So right now we're talking with Adam Schoenberg and Sam Napolitan about the Grand Rapids Symphony. Thank you for joining us inside. I'm glad we could invite you in. Yeah, thanks for having us <laughs> yeah. here this morning. So you guys have a big event happening tomorrow. Let's start with that. Oh, well, it's on Saturday. Uh, we have a concert called Inspired by Art, and Adam here is a composer, and he uh, curated the concert in a very unique fashion. Tell us about that, Adam. Yes, yeah, so I'm a composer based in Los Angeles, and I actually worked with the Grand Rapids Symphony a couple of years ago. I okay. wrote a piece based on four Mark Rothko paintings, and they wanted to bring me back because of Art Prize. And they wanted to have a, a concert of all new music, all written within the past 10 years by living American composers. And so we, I put out a call on Facebook and received a, uh, about 42 submissions from composers all over the country. And we narrowed down the selection to three pieces, including a world premiere by Ray Lustig that will happen tomorrow night. So be, there will be four pieces in total, three uh, by composers from two from New York City, one from Cleveland, and then myself. So you are using social networking in a very productive way. I mean, there's no games, there's no Farmville in this. I mean, this is how you're doing your art. This is how it's you're doing your job. Absolutely, and it's still a business at the end of the day, and you need to promote your, your art form. Mm -hmm. So uh, tell me about um, writing music inspired by art. Well, living in L.A., I also score films, okay. and so there's an interesting similarity in that you're setting... Uh, some type of image. Mm -hmm. And when you're scoring a film, the, the image is essentially king and controls everything. You can write a piece of music and, and you may love it, but the moment you put it up against a moving image, it may not work. Okay. When you're setting yes. a piece of art, it essentially can become your muse. And it can, it can provide some type of, of information that can spark an entire composition that will then unfold over time. It's a, kind of like a picture is worth a thousand words? Sure. Something like that? <laughs> okay, that's a, a reality for you. So tell me what else the uh, Grand Rapids Symphony is doing right now. What do we need to know about? Well, um, we have a co-commission uh, with the UICA, and Adam is involved in that as well. Mm -hmm. um, it's an art prize entry. Um, it's at the UICA. It's yeah. called Music X, um, and you're working with a visual artist. Um, yes, yeah, so, so uh, it was co-commissioned by the... Grand Rapids Symphony and the Urban Institute for Contemporary Arts uh, with artist Micah Silver. And we've created a one-of-a-kind uh, experience called Music X. It's on the fourth floor where people will enter this space and uh, they'll learn the entire history of Western classical music theory in under two minutes through speed learning. And uh, they will also have this interactive experience. I highly recommend people coming. There's been an, a very long waiting line throughout the entire time, at least an hour waiting line. Wow, okay. Uh, but it's a great experience. I love how you call it an experience. Oh, I think yeah. that's what people are looking for with Art Prize. Absolutely. Exactly. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank, thank, you. thank you to your folks outside. Yeah. Stick it around. It's um, We're so thankful for that. Oh, so good luck you. this weekend Thanks. and tomorrow.